I mean, we don't have to always... You are watching like Liquid Lunch on Newsmax TV. I'm Frank Moreno sitting in for John Tobacco, who is on assignment in the Sunshine State and never one to let anyone steal the limelight. He has decided to Skype in to make sure oh. you're up to date with everything that he's up to. Uh, John, do we have you? Yeah, I don't know. Do you have me? Yeah, you, you have me. I'm shocked that I can see and hear you, but apparently that's the case. You're looking uh, very well. You look you look ten years younger. That's, I, would, I can't believe we had a seamless transition into an actual Skype. Frank, I, maybe I should take off more often. Yeah, that's where I'm sure something will go wrong throughout the course of our conversation. So let's not <laughs> let's not count our Skype connections before they're uh, completed. But um, John, what are you doing down there in Florida? Well, right now, Frank, I'm at the RMA. This is the Global and Domestic uh, Equity Finance and Securities Lending Conference. Some of the biggest people in equity finance around the whole world are here. They all converge on the Boca Raton Resort and Beach Club. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to get some more money for Liquid Lunch so we can keep growing it like we are. I'm trying to meet the right people. And uh, I got to tell you, there's people here from all around the world, and they're telling me, they're going like, Liquid Lunch guy. Because uh, we're spreading out into the Wall Street community. Everyone knows about Liquid Lunch. They're sitting over there. But the audio wasn't good there because they were rolling the blenders at the bar for these things. Well, so, we're doing Liquid uh, Lunch anyway. Well, what are you drinking? Uh, I'm, I'm trying to decide what I'm going to be drinking this afternoon. Usually I kind of follow your lead. looks like a daiquiri of some sort. This drink is called a Vaccaro. And this is uh, half a cup of uh, muddled oranges. And uh, the other half of the cup, or well, three quarters of the cup, Panzoni Vodka. Ooh. Fantastic. Wow. That and by good. the way, we're on at the bar. There's a whole slew of people around the bar. I had to put all the TVs on Newsmax, so everyone's watching right over there. But I just heard Burnett, Frankie, and, uh, you know, we always we always have him on with Johnny Eisen, with uh, David Eisenbach, but... Uh, Burnett's a powerhouse on his own. That is for sure. Uh, that is for sure. Uh, John, let me pick your brain on a couple of economic issues. Uh, Jamie Dimon, uh, we all know uh, what an authority he is on uh, the economy. He says that there is a recession ahead. Uh, retail sales have now started to unexpectedly decline. If you're an investor or if you're somebody that just wants a robust economy, is it time to start panicking? I, you know, I always say namaste in these situations. If you remember just uh, two and a half years ago, Jamie Dimon said, we want nothing to do with Bitcoin. Cryptocurrency is the worst thing for you. You cannot trade it at JP Morgan. And now JP Morgan's making their own JP Morgan token. So uh, I respect Jamie Dimon. He's one of the realer guys on the street. But uh, on this, man, you know, I, I don't know what he's talk whose book he's talking but if you ask me, the economy is looking good. I know the growth and the sales is down a little, but right after the back to school season, there's a lull right now in e-commerce. You know, I work 15 years. There's a little bit of a lull here right up to Thanksgiving, and then all the holidays start taking off. So I, 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 I completely disagree with Jamie Dimon, and I think if uh, Trump can have a little success getting something definitive out of the Chinese negotiators, uh, I'm telling you, I've been saying it for a while that I see 30000 in our it, future. It would certainly be nice if Congress would uh, actually get to voting on the USMCA trade deal with Mexico as well. But let me also ask you about another uh, titan of finance. We talked a little bit yesterday about how Mike Bloomberg was floating this trial balloon about entering the Democratic presidential race uh, if, if Joe Biden falters. Well, Joe Biden gave what cannot be considered a particularly robust performance in last night's debate. So now all eyes are turning towards Mike Bloomberg to see if he jumps into this. Tell me how you think Mike Bloomberg would shake up a uh, 2020 Democratic presidential pr primary contest. I don't, I don't think he'll shake it up. And he's so little, it won't be a far jump from whatever he jumps <laughs> off of. But, uh, you know, I, I don't see him being president. He just, it, there's so many people in the limelight right now, and he's not mayor anymore. This is my brother, Derek, shirtless, if, in case you needed to see that. Um, but he's here representing P0. Uh, like I said, there are titans from all over the world here. Uh, but, uh, Frankie, I, I, I'm, uh, I feel like I'm in Florida, 
And I don't really care that much about Mike Bloomberg. I care about uh, the greater things like what Donald Trump's doing. Hopefully, we're right here in Florida. I'm going to be seeing Chris Ruddy, the CEO of the network, tomorrow. And uh, that's the real big news. I'm down here for the conference. Uh, but I may or may not have come to the conference, uh, except for the fact that we got some big, high-level, heavy-duty meetings. Well, you're, you're freezing there, John, and we lost you. There you go. We knew that was almost bound to happen. Uh, that was John Tobacco live from the Sunshine State. You know, a lot of people were saying that they were surprised that John didn't send some sort of food or some sort of lunch for us, given the fact that he wasn't here. And uh, I must say, I am among those who was surprised. So John or Derek or Todd or any of the Floridians that are watching this, if you want to send us some food, some pizza or something, or, you know, some sandwiches. We're at 350 Broadway, New York, New York. Come by and feel free to drop off some food. All right, when we come back, we are going to check in with the crypto cowboy, Drew Taylor. Libra, this is the Facebook currency that you've been hearing about. Um, it's a cryptocurrency created by Facebook. We're gonna tell you what it is and why six or seven of the original partners of Libra have actually dropped out. We'll go west to the Crypto Cowboy next. You're watching Liquid Lunch on Newsmax TV. I'm Frank Morano sitting in for John Tobacco. We'll be back in just a minute.